Hey guys, and this is another tutorial we're going to do for Blender. And I'm going to be showing you how we can set up uh, reference images in Blender. So, in this instance, we're going to be modeling, say, for example, this golem head. So, I've got a couple of um, reference images. Really, you want like a square on front, side, and back. The back secondary, but uh, the, the front and side really are kind of vital. Um, so, if we wanted to model golem, we could import this reference image into Blender set it as a background and then we can model around it and um, we can then check our model against this actual reference image and make sure that we're on the right track and everything's the right size so let's go ahead and open up blender and the way that we would do this would be first of all we go to create and we create an empty object now once we've got that empty object we come over to our tools here on the right side you're going to click on the object tool there and we're going to go to image and we'll go to open and then you locate the image that it is that you actually want to use so I'm going to use this golem image here and then I'm going to scale it up a little bit so about the size of the head that we want okay then we will grab our rotate tool we're going to rotate it up we're going to rotate it up 90 degrees so you can see down here in the lower right hand corner of the screen um, shows us our rotation angle so we want to rotate 90 degrees bring it up here until we get 90 or thereabouts okay 90 degrees that's good enough all right and then let's spin around to our front view and then we're going to move our object so it's approximately on our center line center of the head wants to be around the center of our default cube there okay so there's our first one now let's set up our second one in exactly the same way we go and create another empty object we will change that to an image and we'll open the image that we're going to use again we will scale it and or rotate again so we're going to want to rotate this one up 90 degrees again and then we're going to want to rotate this one this way you want to make sure he's facing the front so again we rotate it around 90 degrees then we'll go to our left view And we'll drag it into position. Okay, now what we want to do is make sure that both of our reference images are about the same size. So um, let's drag this over to here. So we can see that the chin is a little bit higher and the top of the head a little bit higher so we need to come down a tad so basically you want to play around with the scale until they are approximately even so the bottom of our chin should be around in line with the bottom of our chin on the rear image okay so that's probably about right so once we've got these reference images in place we would then be able to actually begin modeling and we can use these reference images as the context or basis for us to be able to do our modeling and, and sculpture from um, which we'll cover in a future tutorial we'll do it using the sculpting tools and um, I'll show you how that's done later so that's it for today that's just how we can set up our reference images so that you can begin modeling from them, whether it be a human head, it could be a vehicle, 
Um, you don't just have to use this either if you're going to use the um, uh, sculpting techniques. You can use it for any, any type of modeling. That's just uh, useful to have these reference images in the background so that you've got like an outline to trace around as we begin to model. Uh, so this images were found from Google. You could also, you know, it could be a sketch you've done yourself, some conceptual ideas for the character that you wish to model. Uh, you could just scan them and bring them in and use them as a reference images in here. So that's uh, all for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.